In IPv6, we have different types of communication, just like in IPv4. First, we have unicast. Unicast means I am sending a message to a single unique address or unique destination. This is just a one-to-one -one communication. You know that from IPv4. Then we have broadcast. Broadcast means I'm sending a message and everybody on my network is able to read it. Ethernet and IPv4 both use broadcast addresses and in both cases, all bits are set to one. So if you have a network at home that's maybe addressed with 192.168.0.0/24, your broadcast address is 192.168.0.255. Then we have a different group, which is called multicast. Maybe you've heard of it. Multicast means we have a multicast group. It's a destination and many people listen to it, but not everybody. It's like a radio station. You can tune in and you receive the radio station like everybody else on the road, but you can also not listen to it if you don't like. The multicast message is sent from a single source to multiple destinations, which may or may not want to listen to it. Then we have an even different one, which is called Anycast. Anycast means I'm sending a message to a single unique address, which is not multicast, but this address is used by multiple hosts or can be used. And this is mostly used in BGP routing. In practice, you just reach the geographically nearest host or at least the host with the least hops in between. So you send a message to the Google DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8, and you are reaching your closest data center of Google. If you're in London, you reach the London data center. And if you're in Milwaukee, you reach the Chicago data center. Let's have a look at this overview. IPv4 has four types and IPv6 only has three. Broadcast is missing. Well, broadcast is not needed anymore because everybody has to listen to every message. This doesn't make sense if you have a lot of hosts. So in this new internet protocol, People chose to leave out broadcast and it is replaced by multicast. 